Story 1. My partner cheated on me at a house party. My memory is a little hazy of some details, and some of the events blend together. But I'll try my best. Edit. Just to be clear, this is about my ex. This was the first time it occurred. We stayed together for a year and a half after, and she did similar things regularly after. I'm now in a new relationship with someone who respects me. We had just moved to a new town about six months previously. It was quite a friendly place, so we made friends fast. One week, she told me that she was going out that weekend, which I was perfectly fine with a couple of friends she had made and a relative of one of the friends. She went to the bar on the Saturday, and they had drink after drink. They were all chatting to other people in the bar that her friends knew. It was a quite close-knit community, so everyone got on. A few young guys, 20-ish, started hanging around her and her friends. My partner, let's call her Kitty, was around 35 at the time, and her friend was a bit older at about 40-something. My partner said that one of her friends, let's call her Petal, husbands came into the bar and started chatting to her. My partner flirted with him a bit until he left. He does make an appearance again in other situations. Now, Kitty had been texting me throughout the night, but never said about this until the next day. Whilst this happened, another of her friends, let's say Rose, was flirting wildly with a couple of the young guys. They had their hands all over her. Now married Rose had apparently done things like this before, but that was only found out later. They kept drinking till closing time. Rose's relative said, why don't we carry this party on at my place when the bar shut? Now at this point, everyone was beyond drunk. Kitty, my ex went along with it and they all went back to Rose's relative's house for an after party. Young guys as well. Now this was where all the messages from Kitty stopped. They all got back to the house and carried on drinking. It was a warm summer's night, so they took things to the garden. The attention from the young guys started to be spread amongst everyone. My ex Kitty was having her fair share of flirting with them in the garden. I don't know who initiated it, but it turned into them kissing and groping each other in the garden. Now, what exactly happened next was unclear, but it ended with Kitty falling asleep in the garden with her underwear off and her dress ridden up. She woke up a few hours later, quite out of it, and found everyone else had gone inside. Rose's relative's house had a few bedrooms and beds and Kitty found that everyone had gotten to bed. Now, Kitty saw Petal having oral sex with a guy in one of the beds. So she decided to see if there was a free bed in a different room. It turns out there wasn't. So she decided to creep in next to the other two guys. Well, they woke up next to her and one thing led to another and they ended up having sex with her. She woke up a couple of hours later to messages from me asking where she was. She then dragged herself out of bed and walked home. She let herself in, clearly still very drunk and out of it, whereby she went to the toilet and then laid down on our bed and proceeded to confess to parts of what she did. It was only a couple of weeks later that she told me absolutely everything, which is what I have wrote here today. Updates in the comments. A user said, sounds like no respect for you and your relationship. She knew exactly what she was doing and did. You can never trust her. It's over, the op replied. It is over. I am in a new relationship now. This was my ex. I should have made that clearer. I have found it hard to talk about over the years, but now feel ready to do it and well I am needing to. Another user said, so what happened after she told you? Did you divorce straight away? She's definitely no good cheater, the op replied. I mean, I won't pretend I did that. We tried to keep going with our relationship, but she wanted to keep sleeping with people, and she did. I think initially I oddly found it a turn on and stayed due to it being a kink a little. After 18 months or so, it got to the stage where we were no longer really a couple in any sense. She was going out with others, and that was when we ended it. I'm still getting over it and after a few months on the apps and sleeping around a little, I met someone else and now I'm quite happy with them. Navigating the turbulent waters of love and commitment requires more than just trust. It requires the conscious choice to remain loyal. 
Kitty's journey highlights the profound impact that a single night can have on a relationship, demonstrating how trust can be easily broken amidst a web of temptations. Yet, infidelity isn't exclusive to fleeting encounters at parties or personal choices made under the haze of alcohol. Sometimes, the betrayal lurks in the shadows of daily life, hidden behind the facade of normalcy. In our next account, we travel to India, unraveling a tale of deceit in an arranged marriage, where trust is compromised long before vows are exchanged. Can true commitment prevail when lies and deception underpin a relationship? Join us as we delve deeper. Story 2. My fiancé cheated on me with her ex-boss. I'm a male 33 years old, living in India, and recently got engaged to a girl female, 31 years old, in my community, arranged marriage. I'm a person who is selfless and clear about my needs. After getting engaged, I started feeling disconnected a lot of times with her, but my initial thought was that maybe I need to give more time and be understanding of her needs. This went on for almost six months, and then one night she went out to party, and I asked her to call me back once she reaches home safely. She didn't do it, and I was not happy about it, and told her that even after repeatedly asking you specially, why did you not do it? For this, she didn't have any answer and chose to ignore me for the next three days. No call, no message, nothing. At that time, I realized that I'm not a priority for her and she is taking this relationship for granted. I went to her and confronted her about it, at which point she turned it around on me and made me feel if it was entirely my fault to have even asked her. After this incident, I sensed that something is off and started digging in. What I found was shocking beyond my wildest expectation. She was having an affair with her ex-boss, who is married, from the past 1.5 years. This affair was an ongoing thing, and she had no intention of calling it off. Even at this point, I gave her a chance to come clean and asked her to be open and honest about her past relationships. Long-term, fling, short-term, etc. She did tell me about her past relationships, but not about this guy. When I confronted her and asked who is this guy and what the hell is going on, her tone changed drastically and she was shocked as to how I found it out. She told me that this has been ongoing for some time and she didn't think anything on how it could impact our future. And she had no intention of telling me about this ever. I felt horrible and told her how this has hurt me and we can't obviously move forward to get married. She pleaded me to give her one chance and as a fool, I gave 14 days to her. During that time, also, I repeatedly asked her to end the affair and prove it to me, which she didn't. At last, I told her brother about all of it and called off everything. I'm amazed at how low we as humans have gotten to, in terms of moral fiber, and people are ready to let go of long-term commitments for short-term pleasure. This story is over. What do you think about the story? What's your tips? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have any similar experiences or stories to share, we'd love to hear them. That's all for today's story. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more deep dives into the intriguing world of human experiences.